it's Steve with Raybuck Auto Body Parts, and I'm going to do a comparison between two rust removal liquids. Uh, one is Rust Release, which you've probably seen some of the other videos that I've done, and Rust 911. I've never used Rust 911, so we're going to give it a shot and see how it compares to the Rust Release, and uh, then you can decide for yourself which one uh, might be better for your use. Uh, one difference between the two, uh, Rust 911, you can see it's in a much smaller container. It is a concentrate, so you do need to mix this with water. There's directions on the back. So essentially this small container, uh, this is 16 fluid ounces. They say can make up to two gallons. So I'm going to make uh, a small mixture of that, and that's what we're going to use to soak our, our rusted metal in. Rust release and a lot of the other products like uh, EvapoRust and Metal Rescue come pre-mixed. Uh, I've actually talked to the manufacturer about rust release, about uh, potentially putting out a concentrate version. Their concern is that um, they want it to be mixed properly. So even though it should be pretty straightforward, again, uh, this you know container you can mix into two gallons of water, you can reuse it. Um, they want it to be pre-mixed, that way they know it's exactly the way that it should be and then it works the way that they uh, have intended. Um, one of the other issues, obviously, if you have to mix something, if it's a concentrate, you have to find another container to put it in uh, to store it as well. Not that big of a deal if you have an old milk jug or something around that's a gallon, you can mix half of this in uh, with a gallon of water and keep it in there. So, But just something to keep in mind, this is a concentrate, the rest of the one is a concentrate, it does need to be mixed. So, here are the two pieces of metal, just standard rusty metal, you can see it right there, they're about the same, and we're going to have a solution of each one of these. We're going to dip it in there and we're going to do a time lapse to see how it works. Rust release, they say minimum of 15 minutes to uh, as long as overnight depending on the amount of rust. Um, rust release is similar. I've seen this work in as little as you know even five minutes. But since this says uh, 15 minutes for rust number one, we're going to give it 15 minutes and we're going to take it out and we're going to see how the two work. Okay, I have my two pieces of rusted metal sitting in my different containers. I'm going to fill this one up with rust release and this one up with the rust 911 solution. I did mix four ounces of that in with a half gallon of water, so that should be the, uh, the correct measurement. Um, one thing that it did uh, state in the instructions that I didn't mention, the rust 911 product will not activate until it is mixed with water. So you can't use it as a concentrate, you do, do need to mix it with water first. So um, here's the rust release, we're going to put this one. In, uh, in this first container. Okay, that's in there. And the next one is going to be my mixed container. Doesn't look like much of anything else because it's a milk container, an old milk container, but it is the, uh, the mixture of water and rust 911. And then a little bit more in there. Okay. So that's it. We're going to let this sit for 15 minutes. We'll do a time lapse on it, come back and see how well it works. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, so we're going to take these two out of the solutions and wipe them off and see what they look like. Okay, so here is the one that was in the rust release. Obviously, you could see the line where it was in there. Um, some of the heavier pitted areas still have some rust on them. Um, some of them are starting to turn black uh, and some are still a little bit pitted and rusted. Here's the back side of it. Again, there was a very uh, deep groove of rust here. So that is still there. And then a lot of the other rust, the, the lighter surface rust, you can see up here where the rust is, the lighter surface rust down here is completely gone. And then some areas over here are uh, starting to turn black. Now we're going to look at the uh, Rust 911 and do the same thing.
and here you can see it. So obviously again, the line across here, what was in the water or in the uh, solution, uh, there are some areas that are starting to turn black a little bit on this side. The rust, obviously the light rust it took out and there's still a lot of, uh, of rust left on here to be removed. The other side of it, which was surprisingly a little bit uh, light, more lightly rusted, uh, it doesn't seem to have done quite as much on this side. None of this is black, it's all still uh, pitted. It do, you could see the areas where there's metal coming through where uh, it removed some of the rust, but uh, um, definitely left a bunch on there. So uh, it looks like, as you can see, I mean, the product did work as intended. Um, I think it's just gonna take a lot longer to be in the solution to remove more rust from it. So it looks like it could be a, a, a decent product, but again, with the rust release, it seems to work a lot faster than other products that are on the market. So again, this if you're looking, this is the Rust 911, and this is the rust release. And then here, I'll flip them over to the backside, and you can see what those look like there. So uh, again, two good products, but I'd go with the rust release on this particular test. Uh, it just seems to work a bit faster. Now, after you use any of these products, I would recommend putting something like Zero Rust on it. You've probably heard of Pour 15 Zero Rust as a competing product. Um, it's less expensive and actually does, a, I think, a better job. Um, it will help seal in any remaining rust or just seal the surface so that rust will uh, be sealed away from any of the oxygen and it won't spread any further. So putting something like this on over top of it will seal everything up and then you could either leave it like that or you could top coat it. So if it's a chassis, you could just leave it that. You can leave it in black or gray or whatever color you choose. Or if it's something on the exterior of the vehicle and you want to, to top coat it, you can do that as well. Zero Rust is uh, tested up to 1800 continuous hours of salt spray. So it is a really, really fabulous product that a lot of people haven't heard of. So if you haven't tried it, I'd pick up some of this. You can get it in an aerosol, a quart, or a gallon. If you get it in the quart or the gallon, you can brush it on or you can spray it. Um, if you're spraying it, just mix it with, or thin it with a little bit of xylene and uh, you're good to go there. Uh, really, really good product. Can't say enough good things about it. So uh, that's our comparison for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like the, uh, the video and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. And we're going to be doing more tests of different uh, uh, comparisons between some of these rust release liquids. Thanks for watching.